Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking voice search air mouse remote. It is called G40. We will show you exactly how this works, how you're going to be able to play with your Android boxes. Doesn't matter if it's an Android TV or regular Android, how it's going to work. And also this will help you to connect to smart TVs. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the, click the like button. It really motivates us to bring these type of videos in a little more detail every time. Already can see that the box is nicely designed. Once we open it, these are the components that are part of the box. It comes with this user manual and it has a lot of information inside and it comes in different languages but this part is in English and the remote itself comes inside of this plastic. So once you open it and you take the remote out, it looks pretty cool. It's a little bit different design than the other ones before. Now the IR sensor part of it is designed a little bit different. You can see that. Now going to the back is where you're going to be able to open. And it looks like once you try to open, the whole back comes off. And when you try to open, the whole back comes off. And there is a USB dongle with it. And it also takes two AAA batteries. But the whole back comes off, which is really cool. And then you can use your batteries and you can put it in. Simple as that. And put the back on. There you go. So this remote do come with a little USB dongle, which is 2.4 gigahertz. And this is how it looks. So this is what you got to connect to your Android box or smart TV in order to make it work. But let's just put that aside for now. And here is the actual remote. How it really looks is beautiful. So from the top, you can see that there is a little mic and then you have the LED indicator. So when you press, you can see that the light comes on. You also have the power and also the set. You have ABC buttons. We will cover that in a few seconds what they are for. But you have a play and pause, rewind, fast forward, or you can go back a chapter or you can skip a chapter. Now your navigation key is set up really nicely. It's all in square. You have the OK button in the middle. So that way you can play with that. Now that's not the only thing. You have a back button, hope button, and also you have the mic button. It looks like a little nice design to it. Then you also have the air mouse button. We will test this one by one in a few seconds. Volume up and down, page up and down, and you have the full numeric button in the bottom. And also you have the menu key and also the delete button right in the bottom. But if you look in the bottom part of it, it's designed exactly like the top. Now I know that on the manual it says that this is IR and it should be able to pair with a TV. We will give it a shot. Now if it does work, we will put it in the video. If not, then we're going to totally cut it out. But I like that little arc design that you can see that they have placed. Now the only thing I found is if I put it on the table, you can see that it wobbles a little bit, then it goes stable, which is really cool. But I do not want it to make that little noise. Except that it's a really good product. So let's go and hook it up and test it out. So here you go. This is the actual place that I can play with this remote itself so the remote is pretty cool it's already set up now if i have to press the mice you can see that the mouse works perfectly on it and if i have to select any of these apps as an example i'm going to select aida 64 and it goes in for it automatically now if i have to turn off the mouse and then i have to press home it originally just works very very easily and it just goes back to it so that part is pretty cool now if i have to press the volume up you can see the volume goes up and down and if i have to go to any of the pages or any place and i have to press the the numbers going up and down it works perfectly too so just to demonstrate i'm going to go to settings 
Here you go, I'm going to Wi-Fi, so now using the remote itself, I will select one of the other ones. I know that this is not our Wi-Fi, but just to show you, see the keyboard comes up, and now if I have to type a number, you can see that the numbers that I have on it is typing it properly there for me, which is perfect. So that means that part is working. That's not the only thing. If I have to press the back button, you can see that it goes back, so that means the back button works perfectly on it too, which is a really cool thing. Now, if I have to go to YouTube, let's press home and let's select YouTube. So there you go, this is our video. And now if I have to press the mute button, it mutes it, that's perfect. So this remote works with that too. That's not the only thing I wanted to play and pause. So if I have to pause, it pauses properly so that button works. Now if I have to skip one of the videos, and there you go, now it is skipped from one video to another. So if I have to skip again, it just changes the video, which is perfect. So this is how it should work, and it is working. So if I have to go back a video, you can see that it goes back to S922X video. And if I have to go one more to the back, it should take me back to Lipao, the latest Z1 extra screen, which is perfect. So now if I have to pause it again, it pauses. And if I have to go press the fast forward, it will take me to another video. There you go. So the buttons really work on this. This is a plus sign. I want to mention that I cannot pair this with any of the TVs because it doesn't have a proper IR sensor and it didn't work when I was playing with it. I know that on the actual user manual, it shows that it should work, but it does not. If you want to use this for your regular TV, it will work. If you want to use this for your Android TV, there you go, it's working. So now one thing left is going to play with an actual Android TV box. So there you go, this is our actual Android TV OS box. So remember that there's a lot of goodies with this. So here's the remote and we already connected the dongle to it. And if I have to go down and select all of these apps, it plays it very, very fast. I really like that. Now that's not the only thing. Why we are here is the actual mic button. So let's just press it one time. So that way the mic comes up, there you go. So now it's listening to see what we're trying to say. You see that it types it perfectly. So now we're gonna do it one more time. We're going to say is, what's the weather like today? The forecast at high of 45 and a low of 32. Perfect, so you see right that? It works perfectly high. when we are trying to play with it and the volume up and down works on it too. So that says that this remote works perfectly for your actual Android boxes and also smart TVs. Now, when it comes to IR sensor, part of it did not work for me again, but it is an excellent remote. Now, I want to mention that all of the links will be available where you can order this from. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.